If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Lautaro Martinez to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'9", high medium work rates, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, controlled right-footed player. Right off the bat, 89 base dribbling, that needs to be improved. That just needs to be improved right away. Um, so hopefully they can go for... Ho ho uh... I mean, with improvements, he's actually looking kind of cool. He just needs those in-form upgrades. So you gotta push it as high as possible in the 90s area for that dribbling, man. Um... Because it's kind of formatted for the Hawk. I mean, as of right now, it's a Hunter. He needs the pace boost. He needs a shooting boost. And you just work with the dribbling as it is. But 88th dribbling, that's like throwing me off a little bit there. Um, but play styles in game. The two play style pluses that he's working with is technical plus and flare plus. So technical plus is cool. This one, uh, eh, you know. Uh, Trickster is pretty decent for the regular because if you look at it, it grants the ability to perform unique flick skill moves. You know, it can be helpful in certain situations. Uh, Trivella, obviously a plus. Quick step's good. But technical plus is honestly the biggest one because of the base dribbling being as it is. Working with the body type as it is as well. So this card, I'm definitely going to have to provide him with the Hunter chemistry style. Base card stats for passing will be in a lower area. Uh, but that could be improved as well, obviously, with the inform improvements. Uh, 96 for jumping, 91 for heading accuracy, so he could potentially score some headers as well. And then for physical, he's working with some pretty decent physical stuff. Considering the fact that Martinez... Is it... He has a... I'm pretty sure he has a... It's either an average or unique, because I, re I reviewed that player of the month, Serie A card. It's an average or unique, uh, but then his body type is like... It's physical, right? So it's not going to be like super agile when it comes to uh, left stick stuff. So let me see what it was again, because I totally forgot. Unique, yeah. So I remember it being something like that, because it's like a it's a stronger body type, right? So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and unlock the card. We'll see how he plays, and then we'll see uh, what the potential improvements could be like for a card like this, considering the dribbling and all that kind of stuff, you know? Okay, so we put a little quick team together here. Um, sorry, because we were just doing the player pick SBC first. But, uh, oh, we actually have new cards today. Gwen Doozy's in the game, too. Uh, is that the right club? Anyways, uh, Lataro has an SBC, 397k. Flare Plus, a little bit weird. But we're going to see what he's like in game. So we'll try him out for now on the Hunter. That's going to be the main one. But then in the future, depending on the improvements, obviously you can change a few things here and there. And I don't have a Hunter, so I have to go buy that afterwards. But um, yeah, we'll be using him in a 442. It's the most recent 442 that we did, the overpowered one, where it's really, really fun to play with. So yeah, we'll see how he plays in the striker position. Hopefully he's a beast. Oi, Latara, what is this pass, my boy? I can't even blame him because of passing this game do be sus sometimes, but still. Give me that, give me that technical. Ooh, oh, yeah, nice roulette, nice roulette. It always does that skill when I try to do a little roulette. I like it, I like it. I don't even know if he was off, like onside there. I have no idea. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're chilling. A little technical. Oh, and I didn't get the green on it. Hey, man. Technical is always going to be helpful with that speed boost, basically. A little bit of a physical element there. I like that. Chip shot, maybe? Too much power on it? I like it. Oh, man. 
Gotta get those greens, my boy. Gotta get those greens. Keep, I keep getting him on his left foot, huh? Technical. Ah. That's better. Oh, that is better. There we go. Ah, uh, probably should have gone far post there. Oh, he still has it. There we go. A little build-up play. Bang. Ah, uh, the the player that was next to me there, he committed way too much because if he committed just a little bit, I would have had the attacking play there. Ah, he gets a tackle off. There we go. Let's go, Lataro. That's what I need there. Lucky, I gotta hit the green, man. That works. Random, but it works. Technical. Technical for the speed boost is like that that alone I will say is a really huge plus because if the dribbling bothers you even a little bit, right? You have to understand that them giving him that specific playstyle, it helps a lot because that's a huge meta in this game. Ooh, nice finish. Very nice finish. I will say that when he does uh, get those runs off, like the body type working with the physical is actually kind of nice. Sure, sure, sure. Sounds good. Small little angles. Ah, uh, of course it's Virgil, you know the vibes. Oh, all right, we get a penalty. Where's my boy? Lautaro. There's no way he doesn't know I'm going to chip this, right? I mean, come on, right? Like, it's 6-0. Imagine, like, going to the side at 6-0, my dude. Well, he's just kind of... He's quit now, but, you know, we're just going to try a tree Vela, man. Why not? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Whoop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta get a little bit... Aw. Uh, I mean, that's what we're doing the flare for, right? Flare is going to be the flare shots, the flare passes. Oh, the accuracy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do a through ball. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, tap shot. That's just us utilizing the L trigger passes, basically. Ah, oh, we had the crossbar. I like it. Save it. No. 
Listen, I've used the dribbling from before from the player of the month card. The dribbling feels much better on this card. So with improvements, it'll be even better. But giving him technical plus was a really, really huge deal. Definitely a huge deal. But the dribbling does feel better. Like on the player of the month, I was like, ah, you don't got to work with the dribbling, blah, blah. But this one, if it actually feels decent. Like if they, if they, if he gets a further improvement, it'd be nice. Oh, I timed that well. No, I should have passed it there. What am I doing, man? Okay. Technical. Technical again. Ah, unlucky. I like it. Yeah, so that's a big thing, man. Like, because even in the introduction, I was like, oh, guys, is dribbling. Oh, come on, EA. Oh, guys, is dribbling this and that, right? Because I was so used to, like, the player of the month and the base mechanics of that card. But on this card, it's way better than the, than the Serie A. Like, the Serie A was kind of, like, annoying a little bit, you know? From that angle? Ah. No deflection? Ah. Oh. There we go. Typical meta goal, but we got it. We got it. So I'll tell you guys this right now, man. The card's more enjoyable than I thought he would be. For sure. 100%. I thought he was going to be... Like like I said, that that dribbling with that body type was like a huge like thing for me before. But with this card, it's performing much better than I thought. So that's good. They can even do like a quick Burba cancel too, right? Like... A little technical and then bang there it is very good that's what i'm saying technical plus really huge player uh play style to add to him the flare i mean the flare is kind of like whatever guys honestly like it's cool to do uh in certain situations like even i mean you saw me do that one through ball pass where i did like a i was holding l trigger for it and he did a pretty sick pass right um and it was with the like trivella as well Oh, the guy came from behind. No way. Oh, technical. Technical is such a big deal. Verba cancel. I timed it a little bit off there. Oh. Maybe I get that one, though. No. I think he switched off of him, so I didn't get the overcommitment there. Oh, side footed. I don't think that was going to go in. Oi! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I wasn't even holding all trigger for that. He was just like, bro, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> There it is. Good first time pass. I did the near post there just in case he did the manual goalkeeping. Nice movement, Lataro. Ball roll, Trivella. No. See, I was doing ball roll, Trivella, but I wanted to use a technical afterwards, but I had to like... Do a couple more dribbles there for sure. There you go. A little bit of the L1 to stop the ball, go into the technical afterwards, you know? Ah, uh, oh, and I still hit it. I still hit it. This goalie was like, I don't know what Schmeichel was doing there. This guy is, I don't know, doing the thing. I was saying, ah, because I didn't get the green on it. I was like, oh, dude.
That's the end of the game, why not? <laughs> why not, dude? Oh, I'm gonna say from that angle, that would have been kind of crazy because that's not like a super high percentage. Ah, oh, I don't think he had any idea he was gonna do that, but those two guys are always gonna be there. Ooh, that would have been a goal for sure. That was a good build up. Always need those random movements there. Good stuff, good stuff. I put those highlights in there too because, you know, sometimes like attacking AI is not just about opening up space for yourself, but it's about opening up space for others, right? So. Nice goal again. Attacking AI, good build up, good build up. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me, my boy. Sounds good to me. Otaro. Let's go top right. We haven't gone top right in a while. There we go. Let's do that. Oh, I try to use a little bit of the technical into the shot, but I got nothing. Oh, okay, almost, almost. Yeah, if he hit a finesse shot from that distance without the trades, I'd be like, hmm, a little bit spicy right there, a little bit spicy. Oh, imagine I score from that angle at a green, eh? Imagine. Oh, nice try. Ah, once I took that touch, I should have gone across there. Oh, he still has it. And almost scores from it. Almost. Ooh, the tab shot does it there. Okay, Lautaro, I see you, my boy. I see you. Ah, la 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 la. I do this. You guys can check my controller. I literally passed the ball and it disappeared, so. See, even for like simple stuff like that, like just using technical to basically give you that small speed boost to get past the defender just for a simple pass, you know? Be a foul, right? Okay, I was about to say, my boy.
Okay, I like that build up. I like that build up. That was nice. <laughs> That's me trying to do the, the fancy pass, you know? It was pretty accurate, though. If the through balls in those areas is not too crazy to use, but nice to try out. Yeah, he doesn't have the finesse animation. I was lucky I even scored that other one, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, nice try. Try to utilize the Trivella into, or the technical into the Trivella. Ooh, I think a green should have been a goal there, man. I think that should be a goal. I don't know why that's not hitting the direct side. That was a sick play. Oh, we get that one, though. We do get that one, though. I wonder if I do fancy passes, if his passes are just accurate in general, like even compared to like his regular ones, you know? If I just do that all the time, is it better than just doing regular passes? You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder. <laughs> I mean, I might as well do it, right? Like. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Lataro Martinez, guys. So, guys, listen, forgive me, man. I, I, You guys can see my controller. I try to hit, like, L-trigger shots so many different times because I guess that's, like, the fancy shot. I think when they say contextual, like, he chooses to do it. But, like, if I'm holding L-trigger and I'm trying to do, like, power strikes across or something, like, I'm, I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try to do it, but, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what the contextual areas are. Honestly, guys, like, meta-wise... You're going to hit your strikes normally for the most part. I think Flare Plus, it's not like a horrible play style by any means, right? Because Flare Plus, honestly, like there's going to be certain moments where doing a Flare Pass over a regular pass is actually very helpful. Like that last goal that you guys saw where he hit the ball with Mbappe, where he brings the ball back and then flicks it. That little angle that you create to hit that flick pass is actually really nice so honestly there's gonna be a lot of moments where doing that pass instead of you know just a regular pass is actually gonna come off very nicely now let's talk about how the card generally performs in game right so it was a plus that his dribbling felt better than i thought it would however just be mindful that he still has a physical oriented body type right so it, it's kind of like a combination of an average and his unique it's not like a full average because a lot of the times when it's an average it's usually chalked for attackers right usually not all the time right but for him the unique with the dribbling stats being increased is a w right uh because i definitely felt that difference compared to you know when i tried out that uh, player of the month card during that time period on a hunter you know boosting the Pace as well as the shooting. Obviously, you do want that sprint speed boost. I think that inform improvement is definitely going to be very, very important. Here's the thing about this card, right? So it feels like the type of card where you want the improvement more than Yasuo, right? Like, well, Yasuo's SBC card, like, I think the card already is actually really nice. Still, but the thing is, right, it's a nice card, but they're facing Lazio, right? And Bayern on paper should beat Lazio, but this one is a little bit more tough inter versus atletico madrid you know what i'm saying it's a little bit more difficult to say like oh this is what's gonna happen in this you know like and that's a tough matchup right in my opinion i i at least want the one in for improvement on him because i think it'd be a huge plus to at least get plus twos i think the plus twos would make a really really big deal for a card like this a hundred percent right double upgrade minimum but the one upgrade like it would be nice so if you think that they can have a chance against Atletico Madrid, then it's worth looking into for the Serie A strikers, right? People don't really use Serie A teams too much this year. I don't really notice them in the top tier metas, right? But I still enjoyed using this card in comparison to the player of the month. The player of the month, obviously, with the way that it was formatted during that time period, 
it was 80s in the dribbling and then ports into areas. So the plus twos made a slight difference. So that's nice. But the key thing here was the technical plus because he still has that physical feel to his body type. But when you're using the technical plus, you don't care as much about it because that's the compensation, right? So this one's a little bit more tough, guys. 400K, it's up there. This is more for people that are building Serie A teams. I think Yasuo makes sense a little bit more for meta because of Alfonso Davies, because Musiala is actually pretty good, right? But this card was way more enjoyable to use than the past, right? So, hey, it's RTTF, man. We'll see if he gets the improvements. That's going to be the key thing here, especially for the Serie A teams. But, hey, the card cooked for me, man. He scored a lot of goals for me. I think it was... Let me see. Don't always look into this because people are like, oh, but he scored this many goals for me. It doesn't matter. If you're decent enough at the game, you could score with lots of different cards, okay? So be very mindful of that. But for us, during the review, he scored 16 goals five games with two assists. So a pretty good return, right? Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. I had a brain fright there for a second.